Welcome back to Seedling Stockfell TV, an online series about gardening and making the most of your seedlings as they mature. Today we're going to take a look at using globe artichokes in the garden. These plants are really useful to incorporate in the landscape instead of just in the vegetable garden because they help implement three key principles of landscaping, which is the use of focal points, color and texture. Getting artichokes established is actually not very difficult. All you need to do is give them quite a bit of space because they get quite big, well-drained soil and a nice bit of compost to get them started. They don't need full sun, although they do appreciate probably about four to five hours of sun a day. So we're going to take a look at two different parts of my garden where I'm using globe artichokes to create two different feelings. In this part of the garden, I would like to create a tranquil, lush walkway leading up to an archway of fruiting plums, lemons and apples. The focal point is the archway. Using the globe artichokes, the structural forms on either side of this archway enhances that and gives a place for the eye to pause and admire what's going on around it. By using muted tones, such as the greys of the tilbachias and the wild olives and the perennial basil, the dark greens of the spinach, and the arums, all of these colors blend well together so they create tranquility. Here on the other side of my garden, this bed is supposed to be spontaneous and create a feeling of excitement. So I'm using a big variety of textures and colors to make that happen. What will happen here with the artichokes is that their bold shape and their contrasting vivid grey will act as an anchor between all the movement created by these daylilies and these alstrom areas who have long wispy flowers and nice strappy leaves. So I hope those two very brief tips have shown you how the use of a structural plant with an interesting colour can help you to implement landscaping principles in different ways. Also, how you can use an edible plant variety in a way that doesn't confine it to the vegetable garden but includes it in the broader landscape. Please come back for more tips and ideas on gardening and edible gardening here on Seedling Stockfell TV. And please share this video with anyone who th you think might find it useful and leave your comments and questions.